With the Master RBR tool, you're actually getting three tools in one for your money. The RBR stands for Riveting, Bending and Rolling. We're going to start by showing you how to set up the tool to carry out the bending function. Firstly, the diamond shaped bending head is fitted to the centre slide. As you can see, it has two positions, one for bending 90 degree angles and the other for smaller angles up to 60 degrees. Then the side rollers are fitted into the holes indicated on the tool. Finally, before doing any bending, make sure all three are screwed down tightly. If you bend in lighter gauge metal less than 5mm thick, you drop the sleeves provided over the side rollers to help make sure a tight bend is achieved. Here we are using 20mm by 3mm bar to make a frame. Simply place the bar in the gap between the side rollers and bending head. Then pull the lever to achieve your required bend. If you need to repeat the exact same bend, simply use the adjusting screw to fix that angle and then bend the remaining angles and there you have it, a frame or component formed in a matter of seconds. Moving the side rollers to the outer hull positions on the body makes bending heavier gauge bars easier. With the bending head switched round, you can produce sharp bends of up to 60 degrees on flat, round or square bar. using the drop-on sleeves as necessary to help ensure a tight bend. The next function we're going to look at is rolling curves and circles. To set up the tool, you start by removing the bending head and rivet posts. Then you fix a winding handle into the hole at the end of the centre slide. When working with thinner gauge bars, the side rollers are placed in the innermost positions. And the sleeves are dropped over them to make rolling easy. Again, as a final check, ensure the side rollers and winding handle are tightened down firmly. Next, feed the end of the bar into the rollers and set the height of the winding handle to the width of the bar by using the appropriate guide ring supplied. You're now ready to start rolling and this is done by applying gentle pressure on the long lever and then turning down the adjusting screw to maintain that pressure. Then by operating the winding handle you drive the bar through the rollers and your curve starts to take shape. Then you apply more pressure with the long handle and maintain this with the adjusting screw and then drive the bar back through the rollers. This is repeated until you've formed your desired curve or circle. To set up the tool for rolling larger bars, remove the side roller sleeves and simply move the side rollers to the outer hull positions. With the bar placed between the rollers and the winding handle height set, you carry out rolling in the same manner. You use the long handle to apply initial pressure and then maintain that pressure using the adjusting screw. Then you drive the bar through the rollers, first one way and then the other.
It's a fantastic feature for making arches and circles for your wrought iron work, or for making curved components and rings in a production setting. Something to bear in mind is that if you happen to make a mess of a curve, you can always roll out the material back into your flat bar and try again. When rolling longer lengths, you may find it easier to fix a master RBR in its upright position and roll in the vertical plane. To roll identical curves, you can use the adjusting screw to set the required curvature for subsequent curves. Those with welding equipment can of course weld their metalwork together. However, if you cannot weld, riveting provides an authentic and classic looking wrought iron joint. It's quick, easy and needs no heat or power. To set up the tool for riveting, remove all components from the bed of the machine and fix the rivet posts into the correct holes, making sure they're both screwed down tightly. Now take the metal work you want to join together with the pre-punched holes in it and pop a mild steel cold rivet into the hole. Then hold the joint to be riveted between the tops of the two rivet posts and operate the handle to squeeze the rivet at each side and find in the centre to create a strong and unbreakable joint. Decorative shapes and panels can be steadily built up by riveting each joint in turn using this three-squeeze riveting method. 